Right, so we're answering some of the uh, questions, tech questions I got on Twitter this week. We don't get to all of them in the radio show, obviously. So um, somebody suggested that we do this on YouTube and I listen to them. I don't know why, uh, but let's see how this goes and, uh, and maybe we'll do more of this in the future. So, um, so Matthew, for example, asked, should we wait for the Xbox One or just screw Microsoft and go PS4? Uh, and I've got to say at the moment, I've got the PS4 with me. I absolutely love it. Um, but I would be waiting. Uh, for one, if you wait a few months, the prices are going to have to come down. It's really expensive right now. Plus, like seriously, it feels a little bit like the PS4 is a step down from the PS3 to me. So uh, the couple of things. For one, I loved streaming uh, media over my network from a DLNA server. Uh, so watching videos and stuff. The PS4 doesn't do that yet. We're waiting for Sony to bring that kind of functionality via software update. Uh, so that's pretty lame. Uh, your PS3 games don't work on the PS4. And there's a limited set of launch titles at the moment. So there's great stuff like Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Um, but a lot of the great PS3 games I love like GTA 5, you can't play on the PS4 yet. So unless you have to have the latest and greatest... I definitely wait before getting uh, any next generation console, but especially in South Africa where the Xbox One hasn't launched yet, I'm definitely going to hang on and see what prices look like closer to the time. So if you need a PS4 right now, if you have that burning urge inside of you, um, then, then go and get one. But there's nothing wrong with waiting. Uh, Christina wanted to know if I know of any personal finance management systems in South Africa similar to mint.com. Uh, uh, which is a great question because I happen to work at a company that produces one. So that's the disclaimer, but check out 227 if you're in South Africa. It's a company I work at, um, and we've got a tool that helps you see all your money stuff in one place uh, and hopefully do more with it. So that's 227.com. Uh, lots of questions about when the Galaxy S5 is coming out. We just don't know that yet. We're waiting for Samsung to make the announcement in the next couple of weeks. So maybe by the time you see this, uh, we'll know more about the S5, uh, but right now, nothing. Ah, this is a good one. PJ wants to know, uh, any idea when the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact will be available in South Africa? Um, this is the new Android phone from Sony. I'm pretty excited about it because I really love what Sony's doing with Android. I think at the moment, next to the Nexus devices, Sony's probably making the best Android devices on the planet. Um, so I still have the, the, uh, the first Xperia Z, um, this was before the Z1, and I absolutely love this phone. Uh, and one of the things I think Sony does so well is just make really hardcore uh, hardware. So it's drop proof. I've like literally dropped this in the road. You can't even see any scratches. Uh, and then one of the most fun things about it is waterproof, right? So you can use it to like stir your drink. I don't know. Um, but if you fall uh, in the pool with your phone in your pants, it should be okay. So Big fan of Sony. Um, they actually announced that the Z1 Compact is coming to South Africa this week. So I think we're going to see it in about a month or so. Um, so it's now mid-February 2014. Probably by March, I reckon, we will see the uh, the Z1 Compact in South Africa. Obviously a lot smaller than the current Z1 um, that, that that's available. Uh, and I like that. Uh, a lot of these phones, like the 5-inch phones, it's cool. Uh, a lot of people want a high resolution big screen, but I think there are also a lot of people who really appreciate something smaller, lighter, better battery life. Uh, the Z1 Compact is going to tick all of those boxes. So I'm looking forward to playing with it. Uh, and then finally, we got Mazut. I hope I'm getting your name right, man. Um, saying for online gaming, is internet speed or ping more important? So um, the speed of your internet is like the bandwidth. So in South Africa, a lot of people have got like four megabits per second download speeds on their ADSL or 10 megabits per second. Um, so that's not too important when you're talking about gaming. You need to meet the minimum requirements for a game, but just about any game you're going to want to be playing these days, if you've got anything more than like one megabit per second, you're green. Ping is more important because that's how fast it takes messages to get from your computer to the gaming server and back again. Um, so I would definitely care about ping more than uh, actual bandwidth. Uh, and there's actually a great tool where you can go and check it. So um, if you go to speedtest.net on your computer, or you can run the speed test app on your phone. So that's what I'm doing this with right now. So if I say begin test, it's gonna do a ping over my internet line. Obviously make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi as the connection that you're gonna play games with, but that should be fairly obvious. Um, so you can see it's busy testing my ping right now. It's taking longer than it usually does. 
which isn't good. So I've got a really high ping for some reason. Uh, it's usually around 20 uh, milliseconds. Now it's suddenly 531. Um, and then it's checking my download speed, etc. So usually on this line, I get like 20 milliseconds, which means I'm golden for any game I want to play. Uh, the moment you get over like 400, you're going to struggle to play anything. Uh, Real-time strategy games, uh, MMOs like World of Warcraft, they are not going to gel that well. Um, anything under 100 is usually okay. Uh, if you want to play first-person shooters, you really want that number to be as low as possible. Uh, but Mazut, ping time is way more important than bandwidth. So great question. And that's it. That's all I got for this week. Um, so if you like this video, then click on the like. Uh, if you want to get hold of me, at Simon Dingle on Twitter, let me know what you think of this. Um, if it sucked balls, you can tell me that too. Uh, and maybe we'll do this again in the future.